What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more Chainsaw Man. Today we are doing the finale of season one. This is episode 12 called Katana vs. Chainsaw. That gets me very excited. But before we get into anything, I do want to let you guys know that with the first and last episode of every season of every show we do on the channel, the full length version, which is normally a Patreon exclusive, is available for free for everyone. Click the link in the top of the description. Enjoy that free full length. It's going to be amazing. And if you do enjoy that format and want to consider keeping it for the future, maybe check out that Patreon. Other than that, we do know how the last episode ended with a crazy cliffhanger. I cannot waste any more time. I need to find out what happens. Like I said, check out that Patreon. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Let's hop right on into it. Chainsaw Man, episode 12, Katana versus Chainsaw. Let's do it. The first and last one I ever light up. I know I've said it probably six times since it's happened, but every time I see her, underage too. R.I.P. Himeno, I do miss you. <laughs> Hand it over. It's not the fact that you're killing devils and could die at any moment. You're underage. No types. Can't be doing that. So Aki was able. To, I think it's so ironic that the thing that Himeno gave up her life for to save Aki is the one that's threatening to kill him right now. And I feel so bad for my man. She gonna hand him a cigarette? What's gonna be in that hand? I'll hold on to it till you're ready to grow an addiction. That's heartbreaking, it really is. I just got goosebumps. So I'm saying, I don't know whether to be really happy we're going against the ghost devil again because it's Himeno, a part of her, or to be sad. Easy revenge? So it uses fear to see. So as long as we're not afraid, easy revenge, we take that away. He can't see us. I love, even though I hate its design, like, because it creeps me out, I love its design. I love the way the flowers are, like, embedded in the neck and it's climbing up. Ooh, I hate that, but I love that. So Aratari probably doesn't know that the ghost devil runs on fear and not eyes. So, it's like, how did Aki just do that? Shouts out Himeno, beyond the grave. Kobni was on her ass already. Don't know how she got there that fast, but I'm glad we finally have the one up on her, Sawatari. It's quite the quite the bracelet you got there with that. Never mind. Quite the snack you got there. I'm saying. Alright, time to go off. We got some of our other new members had a time to shine last episode, and now. Yeah, she's going to do the opposite of that. I entrust my back to you. Even though power <laughs> is a love-hate relationship with me, I do really enjoy her powers. The blood control is so sick. And then speak of this one day, where they will sing about me for years to come. I mean, that did look badass. It just sucks that we were the only ones to see it. <laughs> Got the chainsaw. Oh, there he is, Katana, man. Am, am I brain farting, or what do you call the ignition cord on a chainsaw? Sure don't. Even me, who's somewhat of an empathetic person, doesn't feel bad. Yep, just like how Denji's with Pochita. You've got any kind of conscious left. I do have conscious left, and we're not going to do that. <laughs> Good. And they're going to just unleash. Okay, take your hand off? What the hell? I can't do that. As they're falling out of the sky, this is going to be crazy. Tell me why this gives me like Doc Ock, Spider-Man, and Spider-Man 2 vibes. I want to land on a train so bad. Ooh. Animation is kind of snapping right now. I can really feel the weight behind a lot of these hits. Oh, I'm loving the cinema. They did land on a train. Please do some fucking Spider-Man 2 shit. Imagine. I don't know why I said that or why what made me think that, but imagine good question i love the camera work i love the cinematography and it's like look at this shot this is so interesting them having a conversation in this form on the train with the crazy cinematics Ooh. 
Look at the camera work constantly going around them. This, oh my god. Like, I have the manga. I, this Because this is from volume 5. I caught up to where we are in the manga right now. I need to read this after this because I'm so curious how the panels looked versus how they're doing this in the anime adaptation. Because this is incredible. Oh no, that's his move where he cuts you in half. You like tele... Yep, there goes one of your arms. Now, normally we need some blood to be able to replace that and regrow and repair, right? Can we ban that move? Let's GA that. <laughs> Gentleman's agreement, come on. What do we do with no arms? I still have one coming out my head, don't I? He's going right back to that form immediately. What happened now? Oh. I don't know how Denji wins this. No arms, no chainsaw out of his head. Was that a bait the whole time? Huh? He's got a foot saw. Oh my god. That was the most anime cut in half I've seen in 20 years. He didn't cut in half until after they had like a sentence two or two each. Okay, so he's still good. I thought for sure he was dead. So Katana Man still out there for us. We're about to have us a contest. What kind of contest are we talking about? Great timing. You want revenge on Himeno too? He cut you, didn't he? It's nuts or nothing. You know what, Denji? I like you. I like your style. Like, I was thinking waterboarding, cutting fingers off, but nothing's going to beat some nut smashing. Normally, I'd agree with you, but something tells me Himeno would have wanted this. Himeno's kind of like that. Oh, I love the camera losing its focus on Aki and focusing on the cigarette. I'm telling you, the cinematography in the show is incredible. It's immaculate. <laughs> Come on. I his family jewel. Let me see it. I know you're not going to show it. Come on. Let me at least hear his screams. Let me, for Himeno. I'm right there with you. Oh, I've never wanted a man kicked in his nuts more in my life. Okay. Yes. Give me a little bit. Yep. We're playing a requiem for you. That doesn't remind you of Hunter Hunter. I don't know what will. You hear this? You hear this? I'm not going to say the character, but there's another character in that show who dies, and they play a requiem for him. My favorite part of that show. Those terrorist attacks were arranged by Akane Sawa. Ah, Devil Hunter, formerly from the private sector. So she was formerly a hunter. She killed herself? Or someone else did? Like the gun. Season two. The time has come. Season two is going to be the gun devil. Okay. God damn. God damn. Talk about a season. I got goosebumps. Talk about a trio. Aki Denji power. So after what seems like 12 episodes of bickering and not getting along with each other, we finally come to the spot where I feel like we could have them in the opening. You know, doing that whole dancing thing. Like we're actually somewhat of a trio right now. I love it. Look at us. I love this little montage we have. Going to the store, getting dinner, having some dinner, celebrating our win over the enemies. Shouts out, Denji. Shouts out, Power. Shouts out, my main man, Aki. Even though this was given to us from uh, Himeno, we're smoking on that Sawatari pack, that Gun Devil pack. That's what we're doing right now. Smoking on that enemy pack. It's for you, Himeno. Ooh. Like, <laughs> again, they don't need to... That's, they're so crisp with it. I love this song. I need to add this song to like the background playlist. I need to add this song when I'm reading manga. This song is a perfect read manga song. And they play it all the time in the show and I thoroughly enjoy it. Flashback. 
Oh, Cheetah, I haven't heard your voice in so long. Something tells me this is not a dream. That is Pochita's soul in, like, because we I forget what the context was, but we did talk in, like, episode one or two. After our hearts combined, we were able to talk to Pochita for a second, you know? That's how we're ending it? What? Talk about an ending to a season. Oh, my Lord. I just want to get this out of the way first off because talk about a cliffhanger even though it kind of wasn't it was because i need to know more about pochita and this dream because that's what i've been waiting on especially since we first fused hearts and stuff like that and the whole instance in which this isn't common in in denji situation same with katana man but who is this lady at the end there who is this i'm, I'm re-watching it right now tell me denji between the country mouse and the city mouse which would you rather be she has black dark hair with white air forces it looks like and you know, obviously not air forces but then black socks i don't recognize her only people with dark hair i could think of himano i don't think it's her kobani don't think it's her could be denji's mother because we've only heard of his father who committed suicide right after and, and let left denji with a debt and that would which was accrued by the yakuza aka katana man's grandfather but I have no idea who that lady is. I'm very curious. Obviously, don't tell me in the comments. I'm very curious about Denji's dream with Pochita. But one of my favorite things about this show, and I do it all the time, is, and I said it before, and you guys agree, and I'm so glad you guys agree, is the subtleties in the show not tell. Like, whether it's Himeno, Aki, Aki especially. Aki is the, he's like, and I'm not roasting Naruto. I love Naruto to death. He's like Sasuke, if Sasuke wasn't as emo as Sasuke was. Like, he's like, if Sasuke didn't say out loud, I want to kill my brother and do all this emo stuff. He's like, Aki, but Aki keeps that inside. He's like, my whole family died and I'm going to avenge them. But he doesn't say it like a brooding anime main character. He does sometimes. But you guys get what I'm trying to say. I love how internal Aki is. And he thinks to himself, like, and I'm thinking about just that last scene with him sitting on the balcony, him thinking of the cigarette multiple times easy revenge from that to the ghost devil from that to getting revenge on katana man and all the way to just smoking that cigarette on the balcony there's multiple scenes of aki not saying a word but you know the amount of depth and layers that are going on behind the character or in his head are just immense and, and immaculate like the writing of this it was the Ta tatsuki i always write down the, the mangaka of any show i have on my notes tatsuki fujimoto you my friend or a legend of writing and story crafting because this is this is quite phenomenal so far i love denji's fight with katana man about the leg cutting him in half even though he's op he just after you pulled the katana out he just repairs himself i need to know more about the katana devil how they formed that bond the gun devil was it saw what saw what tari actually did the whole cyanide pilled contract suicide like holy so much shit going on in this episode <sighs> thoroughly enjoyed it i hope hopefully you guys did as well great episode great season only thing I'm upset is is that it's over and that we have to wait probably two more years for another one. This is just not something I think they can put out in a year. Like I do know your average anime season can get cranked out in six months to a year, depending on the studio and the workers. Oh, my nose is running. Excuse me, guys. But this just this seems like one where it's going to take longer than that. I don't know I, what the amount of every episode have its own ending. The amount of extra cinematography, extra uh, animation, everything. I don't know, man. I don't know. I just, I know some of you guys said the show was overrated. And I get why some people would say that. I really don't, but that, I'm going to say why I get it. Just because I think those people are somewhat, and I don't mean to say this insultingly, but if you think the show is insanely overhyped, if you think it's somewhat overhyped, I understand. Like, there's a little bit of character development and a little bit more of investment that I need in these characters. Like, I wouldn't be necessarily insanely sad if someone like Power died. I would be, or Makima, you know, I would be if Aki or Himeno, just because I really like those characters off rip. Denji is probably my next in line, but I don't think I would be entirely too sad if certain characters died. Where they lack in certain character development, I think they're setting up for that character development now, and it's going to pay off way later. And I think it's it subverts your typical shonen expectations by 
doing it in a different way like when i say that like normally you'd have a flashback right before himano was going to die and she's either gonna get a power up or die like it's gonna be a singular flashback but the way they branched out her flashbacks periodically throughout multiple episodes building up to her death just for it all to make sense with, uh, like i don't know there's something that's so shonen about this but it's something that's so different than shonen i don't, I, don't, I can rant for hours we need to have a podcast if you guys want to have a point, let me know uh have a great day i appreciate you guys immensely don't forget to drink some water tell someone you love them peace out dapper squad